Okay, welcome to this Octonic tutorial. Thank you for downloading Octonic. What we're going to do today is create a listing. So I'm going to aim to showcase some of the awesome features of the Create Listing tool. Uh, I'm not going to go into some of the wider functionality of Octonic, um, but I will do that in subsequent videos. So let's get started. Click on Create Listing from this, the main menu, once you load Octonic. So we'll click that. Um, what we're going to do today is try to sell um, Dog Soldiers, which is one of my favorite films. Um, and let's get started. So what I'm going to do is type in my item title. I could put a subtitle if I wanted to. Um, next, I need to select a category. Getting in the right category is important because you're trying to target a precise set of buyers. The buyers who will pay the most for your item are going to look in a specific category. Um, what you can do is go in through the category select tool and go like this and select downwards, you can do that, that's one way of doing it. There is a different way, Octonic gives you another option. Um, you can click on help here and it will load the category helper tool. So I'm selling a DVD, I'll go like this, I'll press search and it will tell me uh, the recommended category. Um, it's a really powerful bit of functionality. Um, if I was selling something very specific, which I sometimes do, um, this is an invaluable tool. Uh, what I could also do here, incidentally, if I if I wanted to, is for my, for my chosen category, for the category I've selected here, I can click Get Popular Keywords, and it will tell me the most successful keywords that have been used by successful sellers in that category. Again, massively powerful, especially if I'm selling in quite a specific marketplace. Obviously, in this case, um, Dog Soldiers isn't that specific a an item, so uh, the value isn't as much as it would have been if I was selling, for example, a rare painting or whatever I might be selling. Okay, so next let's look at commercials. Um, I'm going to price this at about £2.50. What I'm going to do is set my buy it now price, BIM price, buy it now price, um, at about £5. So the best case scenario for me is I'll get about four, £4 pounds for this. So I'm going to set my buy it now price just above that. Um, I've only got one to sell. SKU means stock keeping units. Um, so I'm not going to set a reserve. Duration I can customize, but I'll keep it at seven days for now. That's fine. Um, now let's move on to shipping. Um, so, Octonic is a global platform, so it's important that uh, we have shipping services that are global and a shipping services tool uh, that is integrated globally. What I'm going to do because I'm selling in the UK, I'm based in the UK, um, is select Royal Mail. I'm going to put my shipping cost as £1.20. I could offer insurance um, and I could look at worldwide options if, again, I wanted to. The point about Optonic is that it gives me both uh, speed, so I can list a lot of things quickly, um, but also flexibility. If I want to really customize every detail on my listing, I can do that with Optonic. Um, fantastic. Okay, so I can customize exactly which geographies I'm going to sell into. So, for example, it may be I wanted to sell a particular item just into the Japanese market or just into the Australian and Irish market for example in this case I don't um, I'm happy to just, just sell into the UK um, so I'll click UK plus that's fine payment options um, you need to have some payment options selected um, I'm going to take payment with PayPal um, today and that's all I'm going to do for my DVDs uh, again that's something that's really easy to customize next we're going to have a look at um, preferences um, so rather than putting in the same details over and over again for every single listing, Octonic has a global preferences tool. So that enables us to set preferences that apply to all listings of a specific type. So my these details, my payment policy, my returns policy, default item condition, everything won't change um, if I'm selling a lot of a specific type of item. So if I'm selling 100 DVDs or 50 DVDs or even 10 DVDs, this preferences tool saves me an enormous amount of time. Um, as you can see what I've done here is I've got preset DVD preferences. So these are the global preferences that I use when I'm selling DVDs. Um, what's interesting here is that if I was selling antique vases my returns policy would be very different to just selling DVDs. Um, next we're going to have a look at the text of our listing. Again that's a key part. Um, so what I'll do is load Altonic's text editor. Um, what I'm going to do is paste in something I'd written earlier. Um, it's always worth uh, spending a few hours just, just making sure, or some time, just making sure your listing text is good and it is exactly how you want it to be. 
Next comes a really, really cool functionality. What we're going to do here is very briefly look at customization. So, if I, in terms of uh, selecting a visual for my listing, I've got a number of options. This is where Optonic really stands out and is really quite unique. What we're going to do is I could select a previously used, I could select a top rated listing template, or I could select it by category. And as you can see, there are absolutely hundreds of listings that I could select. Um, I could also go into the Create Custom Listing tool. That is an entire world of amazing functionality on its own. So I'm not going to go into that today. Um, what I'm going to do is select a blue listing, press OK. I'm now going to drop in a photo. As you can see here, um, Optonic goes into wherever you tell it to to get your photos. So I can just very quickly drop them in. And if I decide actually I don't want those two photos, that's fine. I can just click on the red X and they go away. I'll press OK. That'll then drop it into my listing here. So as you can see, that's taken us just less than um, just less than 10 minutes to do. What I'm going to do, I can then save that item. I will do. Um, I can then preview that item. And it will then load that in my browser. Just take one or two seconds to do that. There we go. Fantastic. And there's my preview. So you can see in my browser, I'll just minimize that. So you can see it. Absolutely perfect. That looks fantastic. Um, and then what I'm going to do now is go verify and list item. I'm happy with this. And what it will do is just check for an error. Just make sure my listing is absolutely ready. It tells me the cost of listing. In this case, it's 25 pence. Um, and it warns me around uh, PayPal payments. That's fine. I'm going to click list item. And Optonic is listing my item as we speak. It's a fantastic result.